Hello, I'm Bill Spurlock, Director of Rutherford County Schools. I'd like to take a few moments to speak with you on career technical education. The goal of every educator is to prepare students for college and careers. Now we understand that college lasts a finite amount of time, whereas a career lasts a lifetime. Currently in the United States, college student loan debt is at $1.7 trillion. Now this is not only unsustainable, it's unnecessary. Our mission statement in Rutherford County Schools is to empower today's students to grasp tomorrow's opportunities. These opportunities not only exist in our core classes, but they also exist in our career and technical education classes. We have 39 programs of study, and within each one of those programs of study, we have a multitude of career clusters. We have in our classes the ability for students to not only get high school credit, but also college credit. And some can even take a industry certification test and be prepared for some of the most challenging and the most rewarding careers. We are strong proponents of a career technical education. Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Hatcher with Premier Vet Care in Smyrna, Tennessee. I've been a veterinarian for 20 years and I've been an owner at Premier Vet Care since 2004. Veterinary medicine is actually full of opportunities, um, though the majority of veterinarians are still employed in general practice, taking care of pets and cats and dogs and rabbits um, and, and lizards and birds, the wide gamut of animals, uh, and also our large animals, uh, our horses and our cows and our chickens. Um, though a lot of us still do that line of work, there's also work within the Department of Agriculture. All meat that is inspected and that we consume uh, is inspected by veterinarians. Veterinarians are used in uh, research. We uh, help with drug developments. Uh, we help with research in, um, in a wide variety of areas um, that eventually often helps with um, human medicine. Veterinary medicine is a uh, postgraduate education. Uh, we usually will need to have uh, somewhere between three to four years of undergraduate education. Uh, prerequisites uh, are required to get into uh, veterinary school. Uh, those prerequisites do vary from university to university, but the majority of them are the same. Mainly sciences like chemistry, physics, uh, animal science classes are very useful, uh, but not always required. Uh, biochemistry, uh, genetics, those are all the types of really uh, interesting science classes we get to take in undergraduate. After our undergraduate prerequisites are met, we apply to veterinary schools. Uh, upon graduate uh, accepting uh, of our applications, schools that are interested, there's an interview process. So we have to go through and pass an interview process in addition to our um, applications with grades and resumes and, and, and essays. Um, after then that's a four years of veterinary school. Um, usually th the first three years of veterinary school are classroom studies uh, and elective studies with our final year being a clinical year uh, where students are put into clinics uh, where they're helping take care of animals and doing exams and learning how to become uh, veterinarians. Well, veterinary medicine is wide options and has wide, wide options for those who select it. Um, every day we make a difference. Nearly every person every day, now they don't see it, is touched by a veterinarian. Veterinarians, like I mentioned earlier, uh, are in charge of making sure our food is safe for us to consume and eat. Um, they're there behind the scenes when we take our animals to the pet, to, to the vets to be taken care of, um, but uh, there's just, we impact so many lives every day that um, just the knowing that we've made a difference is, is well worth the, the, the hard work required to become a veterinarian. Hi, I'm Harrison Falkowski, the Stewart's Creek FFA president. And a normal day in agriculture is really, really cool because like most classes, instead of sitting inside, you're doing hands-on activities almost every day. Whether it be in our greenhouse, we're planting or watering plants, 
uh, during basic maintenance, things like that, or our animal facilities or our outside in our barn. We get assigned different animals to take care of, like Simon here, and we, you know, pet with, uh, pet him, play with him, clean him every day. Um, he's coming up on here right now. But it's really cool. We also have our dog grooming station back there. We get to uh, groom dogs almost every other day, get, uh, just about take them on walks, give them haircuts, things like that. It's really cool. Um, another awesome part about agriculture is FFA. It's a student-led organization that spans the entire country. There's over 670,000 uh, members across the entire United States, which is really cool. And it's also a great way to build relationships with like industry professionals, things like that. I'm actually the Middle Region FFA president, which is really cool because I get to interact with people on a higher level and kind of be able to be involved in more people's lives. Um, a big reason why someone could take ag is because it opens up a lot of doors. Um, almost 10% of all jobs in the U.S. have some relation to agriculture, whether it be like you're a veterinarian or you own a greenhouse or just, you know, you work in a supermarket, anything like that has some relation to agriculture as a whole. So I hope you guys, I hope to see you guys next year. Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Brown, I teach at Smyrna High School, um, I'm in the agriculture program of study and I teach the animal and veterinary science pathways. I love the agriculture industry because it's a part of everyone's life, especially a part of my everyday life. Um, I have two dogs in my whole world. Their names are Bo and Dolly. And that is part of agriculture. What I eat every day is part of agriculture. What you wear every day is part of agriculture, like my wonderful sweater here for Christmas. It comes from cotton. Everybody's involved in agriculture, so it relates to everyone's life. What students can expect to see in my classroom is you can expect to see a lot of animals. You can expect to see hands-on every single day, and you can also expect some classwork as well. Um, there's a lot of guidelines that come with being in my class. You have to know how to be responsible, you learn how to take care of things, and you're going to get dirty sometimes. We're out in the mud, sometimes we have a pig here, we have chickens, we have all sorts of things that we have to deal with whenever you're here. So you can expect a lot of moving around, but also a lot of learning. In the normal year, we're going to go on a lot of field trips. We're going to see a lot of different things in the industry. Um, I think last year we went on maybe 20 different field trips out in the industry doing different contests and doing different tours and seeing different things throughout the world of agriculture. Why students should choose to study in this industry is because there's all sorts of careers that will hire you across the United States. It's one of the biggest industries in the world. There are jobs in computer science that involve agriculture, there are jobs where you're working out in the field, and there's jobs where you're working in an office doing regulatory work, like making the laws that relate to animals and plants. Hi, I'm Amy Olt, and I'm an agriculture instructor at Sears Creek High School. I teach small animal care, large animal science, and veterinary science classes in the animal and vet pathway. So very similar to Miss Brown, I also have pets, but unlike her, I have been a lifelong farmer. And so my true passion has always been for animal agriculture, growing up on a farm and still being a dairy farmer at the present time. I feel like that I can uh, also teach my students and spread my passion through the industry, how to be good animal stewards and also how to be conscientious toward making consumer decisions when purchasing food and clothing and fiber products. In my classroom, my students get to experience a lot of practical, hands-on, real-world experiences. Being here in Smyrna, most of my students do not have the opportunity to live on a farm. And if you wanted to have a career in most of the animal science industries or even as a veterinarian, it's super important that you have experiences dealing with animals. So in our program, we work with a lot of livestock, including pigs, goats, sheep, chickens, and cattle. And then in our small animal care program, my students get to experience handling and working and raising uh, a lot of exotic pets and small animals and companion animals. We also have a full service grooming salon, so uh, my students are learning how to manage and operate the business of a groomer while also learning how to do grooming styles, cuts, bathing, nail trimming, and all the things that would go along with that. So my students have experiences that should help them to make educated career choices and then be very prepared for whether they're going straight into the industry or if they're going to further their education in college. Um, and with agriculture, there are so many colleges and universities and opportunities in Tennessee. So we're trying to get them prepared for what they would be going to uh, post high school. 
I feel like there are several different reasons that students choose to take my classes. Um, some students really want to learn how to groom their dogs and since we groom over 350 dogs a year, this gives them an opportunity to work with dogs, whether it be exercising and learning how dogs will react or they are learning how to do certain uh, breed cuts so that they can groom their own dog or even have a uh, job as that. Um, my students love to take the large animal class for working with the livestock. We have um, educational opportunities where we take animals from our school farm, our school animal lab, to the elementary school to do student demonstrations. We also go to the middle school and we have animals that we take to community events such as Adventures in Agriculture and the Sam Davis Home events. So our students are not only learning how to handle the animals and learning about raising and caring for animals, but they're also learning how to promote uh, animals and being good stewards of animals in public settings. And so they get to be, uh, be able to educate the public about what they're doing in the classroom. And so I feel like students really like to have that opportunity to uh, engage outside of school. Um, my students that are taking my veterinary science class, most of them want to pursue a career as a vet or a vet tech. And so they get opportunities to learn about animal systems and then do practical hands-on experiences, such as we do fecal floats to analyze for parasites. We have a blood ma machine, so we can do a complete blood count on animals and read the results from those. We do lots of dissections and um, we have veterinarians that come in and talk to the class. And then they also do some lab opportunities to help prepare them for a career as a veterinarian. So I really think that between working with animals, learning about career choices, and then being able to compete and travel with FFA, that most of our students would say those were the reasons why they decided to take the animal science pathway.